Hey, Virgie Virg. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Virgo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation. Okay, let's tap in. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations. I truly appreciate you all very much. Sending you love, light, peace, happiness, and harmony on your journey. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Um... Please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platform. And anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box, okay? So let's see, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit so guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, guys and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What's going on for Virgo? Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Okay, so we have cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. So that's good. You guys could be smudging and um, decluttering and things like that to bring in new energy. Okay, are you just trying to get somebody out your damn energy? But it says down in the dumps. Yeah, look, not in a good head, not in a good head space or depressed. Yeah, what else? Somebody could be projecting this energy onto you. So we have escapade in reverse, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like you were their favorite person to run away and hide from their problems too. Like they ran to you to hide from their problems. And I feel like now they can't get to you. What else? <laughs> okay. Yeah, history, past happened. Okay. Ulterior motives, hiding something, goals, mm, focus on something, anxiety. Ciao. Okay, so for some of you, um, huh. so this is somebody from your past for some of you. Some of you guys have Egyptian blood, okay? Uh, this whatever this situation is is from a past life okay it's karmic probably to you okay but let's let's just see here hmm. something is like deja vu something here is going to repeat or happen again or it's been happening time and time again this person keeps doing the same shit over and over again, possibly. Okay, like, let's just see, child. What's this? What's cleansing here for Virgo? What's cleansing for Virgo? The lovers came out sideways. Gemini energy. So what else for cleansing for Virgo? The Ten of Cups. Pisces, Mars. So I feel like you're, you're slowly detaching from someone. Okay, a lover. Okay, well, it could be any damn body. Somebody in your family or whatever. A soulmate energy. Could be your family, friends, you know, soulmates doesn't have to be romantic. But I feel like you're trying to detach from someone. You're trying to stay balanced and grounded within your, your masculine and your feminine. Okay. Um, for some of you, there's there's like a third party energy here. Somebody is dealing with someone else. And their energy is affecting you. Whoever they're dealing with is making them feel depressed. And that energy is transferring it over to you in your life, right? It's something like that. Like this person... They're dealing with some bullshit here. And because they can't run away or escape towards you anymore, they're going to have to sit in their shit and deal with what they didn't got their self caught, in, caught up in, right? And I feel like that energy could be affecting you because whoever they tie to fucks with them and y'all have a soul tie too. So it's like, it's affecting you. Some of y'all could, could really use a cord cutting. All right, this could be affecting your um relationships here or this energy. Yeah, it could be trying to affect them or it just is, even if it's not unintentional. I mean, even if it's not intentional, Okay, um, 
I feel like there's a connection here. You guys are going to have to make a choice between two or you already made a choice here. But I feel like you're coming into balance so that way you can bring in this, this Ten of Cups, this happily ever after, this bliss, this joy. This could be a definitely a faded soulmate connection that could be coming in for you. You and this person could be getting ready to create a baby. Whoever this is, whatever this is that's coming in. Spirit could be telling you to like cleanse your energy so you can get prepared. Your body can get prepared for a birth for some of you or so you can get prepared for this damn relationship. Yeah, the truth, Ace of Swords. What, what's the lovers? Yeah, the temperance. What's the lovers with the temperance? Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. Yeah, there's an offer coming in, Virgo, or this is what's here. Could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a plan or a strategy. Definitely a child could be definitely coming out of this here. A strong soulmate connection that's being divinely guided and that's being protected. There's nothing that's intervening in whatever this is. It can't. I mean, you got free will of choice. If you let it shit intervene in it, then I guess it will happen. But I don't feel like it, the protection on this, whatever this is, is too strong. Yeah, this this could be, there's some sort of solid foundation or opportunity that, that you need to jump into or you're hopping into something. Okay, it's going to start off small, but whatever this is, is going to be built into something very successful here. Okay. Yeah. There's good news coming in, okay? Like, this could be definitely about a relationship, but this could be about money too, a job. Okay, I feel like this person has a lot of love to give, but they could be struggling somewhere with their finances or they're, they're still learning how to do certain things or they're, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, the Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor with the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, you're cleansing your energy of someone here that is like, they're a ghost. They're not even really in the physical or they are in the physical, but they ghost you a lot. Or it's like, you don't ever really know that they're around until they start tugging on your energy. You feel what I'm saying? It's somebody like that, that I feel like a spirit God is protecting you from. Because they, they really don't have much to offer here. They really, they could be very childish. This person could even be married or they have a family somewhere. This Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a new offer coming in from a real divine masculine that's going to help you and add on to you. They have structure, they have home training, they have stability, security. They could be starting a business or they have a business or this could be you. You could be working, you're in your masculine energy or you're trying to balance it because this is feminine and masculine. Capricorn and Aries, Aries is masculine. This Queen of Pentacles is feminine. The Ace of Pentacles, that's feminine energy. So you could be definitely creating, okay? You're very fertile at this time. So you could be, you know what I'm saying? Starting you a business or going into business with somebody. But I feel like this is something that you're getting ready to create. Some of you guys are tarot readers or you do something in divination. You practice magic or something like that. Some of you guys could be going back to school here to, to go and like do something here that you love with the with the um lovers. Something that you're passionate about. Some of you guys are definitely manifesting a child or something. Okay, the lovers is sex. With the, beside the Ten of Cups, there's a child. Page of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Cups? Queen of Swords. What's the Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords? Yeah, the Two of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords? The Six of Swords, yeah. So I feel like um, you're setting boundaries here with someone in particular. And you're moving on from the, your past, something about your past, and you're definitely going into this Ten of Cups. Okay, you're healing and you're growing. Things are are, are growing around you. You're growing internally. Um, this is like you making progress. Some of you guys are vacationing with your family or you could be thinking about taking one with your family. But that Queen of Swords, that's somebody that's very intelligent. They're discerning and they mean business. So what's this Queen of Swords? Definitely... What's the Queen of Swords? The Nine of Pentacles almost flipped in reverse. Yeah, something about it. Some of you guys speak out for a business. This is what you do for your business. Some of you guys, 
I feel like you're trying to balance your work life. Wow. The Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor, and the Ace of Pentacles, and the Star. Wow. Yeah. There, there's some sort of either business partnership coming in or you're coming into union with your counterpart. Okay. And it's, it's going to turn out successful with the Star. You and this person could be meant to be stars, like seeing in the public eye or something. But this Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you are very, very independent. Very independent. Okay, that could be that could be sort of like an issue because if you're trying to build a family or something like that, you're going to have to be open to receiving help and being open to being, being vulnerable. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel okay. So this is you freeing yourself from somebody here that, like I said, they missed an opportunity with you, or this is person is way out of your league. You're way out of their league, rather, or that's how they feel. I feel like that's true. Who I just said that? I said that for somebody else. But this person, yeah. Some of you guys are trying to learn how to go with the flow, too, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. But I feel like you're freeing yourself. You're free and setting boundaries with somebody and moving forward into your Ten of Cups because this person, they're very reckless. They put you in harm's way. They really just don't handle you properly. They're, they're a liar, for sure that, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, and they're not a real leader. They're a follower. So I feel like you're cutting this person off. I feel like whoever this is, they ain't got no backbone. Just period. Yeah, and as you're doing that, Knight of Cups, the Hangman, and the Two of Cups, there's a relationship here that's going to make you look at love and life and, and connections with people so much different. Okay, this connection, I feel like whatever this is, Virgo, is going to teach you a lot about yourself. But as you're going into something else, you're releasing something else at the same time. So I feel like just take it easy on yourself because shit can get confusing when you're transitioning like that. You had a death card. Mm-hmm. What's this down in the dumps? Not in a good head space. This person here has an inferiority complex and they feel like they know everything. Yeah, two of swords. What's down in the dumps with the two of swords? Yeah, <laughs> the moon in reverse. Cancer Pisces. Libra moon. So yeah, this person, somebody here is like still confused or still lost or they could be feeling like really overwhelmed or having anxiety. This person here, I just feel like they refuse to listen to themselves. This person lacks self-awareness. Their intuition could be really blocked. It's because their heart chakra is blocked. This person is not doing the internal work. And that's why you have to kind of like... For some of y'all, you need to do a core cutting. This person, they need to get out of your energy with this down in the dumps ass energy. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, I don't know if they're trying to choose between you and somebody else. Yeah, five of pentacles, the devil, the everything is fine card. This person has a lack mindset. It's something about them they need to change and they just don't want to do it. Three of swords, three of pentacles. So definitely third party. This person keeps putting themselves in, in situations and predicaments where they always get their heart broken or... I mean, because you, you're going to feel sad or hurt about something. That's just life. But it's just what you do with that. Are you learning from it or are you going to sit and cry about it and play victim? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, was, there could be something coming out here, something being revealed with the moon in reverse. Are they worried about something being revealed about them? What's the two of swords? This could be you completely blocking them out. Wow, you have the sun. What's the two of swords with the sun? <laughs> the eight of swords. I feel like you're sh you're seeing, yeah, seven of pentacles with the death card. You're seeing this person's true essence. Somebody is stuck in some sort of mindset. They, they're stuck in some sort of negativity. This could have something to do with their childhood. Okay, like, or they're dealing with somebody from their childhood that really just keeps preying on them in a in a bad way. P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y. Okay, this person is being preyed upon or their negative thoughts from their childhood really um affects their relationship with you or just anybody now. Like somebody here is stuck and I feel like they're pretending like they're happy, but they're not. I feel like this person, they're very confused. 
someone could have a mental disorder. They could be kind of like bipolar or they just have really bad anxiety. There's a lot of fear here, I feel like. I feel like they have some tough decisions that they have to make and they just deciding to not make them. They're deciding to not make them here. Yeah, seven of wands. So I feel like that shit has been exposed. You got clarity on it. Okay, like enough for you to move forward. What's um they have they have too much ego here. This person got a big ass ego. What's the moon in reverse? Get a star. I feel like they're in denial here. They could be in denial. Your energy is colliding with this person's energy. This person is in this Eight of Swords energy. They stuck, they're trapped, and they don't feel good or whatever the hell. And then this is you. The sun is you being happy, successful. You and this person are on two different pages. Definitely out of alignment. The sun upright and the moon in reverse. That this the moon in reverse is you with the star. What's what's the moon in reverse with the star spirit? It could be an Aquarius here. Child. The, everything is fine in reverse. Yeah, this is you realizing, yeah, that everything is not fine with you. So it's like you're doing the internal work and they're not. They would rather sit in their ego and not do anything and you would rather not do that. You would rather do the work. So this is you healing and coming to terms with something within yourself or around the situation in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But I feel like whatever this moon is in reverse, this is you moving away from insecurities or fear or... Whatever this was that had you stuck in any karmic situation, I feel like you're removing it and you're doing a healing work. This person would rather pretend like they're happy and they know that they're not. That that's the that's the imbalance, and which is the big one. You're not gonna pretend like everything is is okay because it's not. You know that it's not. Period. That's what I'm getting from this. <clears throat> So you're regrouping, you're recuperating. I feel like you have good fortune coming in with the star because you're, you've tapped in to yourself and you've accepted who you are, your flaws and everything. And the inner work that you need to do. Yeah, this person, they just not, they can't get it together. They just cannot get it together. I, I don't, what's escapade in reverse? They run away, they, they're an escapist. They run and hide when shit get hard. And I feel like you don't do that. You're a hard worker. You don't have time to deal with that. What's escapade in reverse? Something about them is really, their true colors are, are showing. Hideaway, adventure in reverse, vacation in reverse. This person cannot escape. It's time for them to go through whatever this is. What's ex escapade? Yeah, the judgment. Karmic lessons. It's time for them to fucking awaken. Okay, like or make a decision. What's escapade here with the judgment or to forgive? Yeah, the will of fortune. It's time, bitch. It's time. <laughs> it is time. The will is turning. Things are turning in your favor. I feel like a uh, Virgo because you made a decision. You've gone through your awakening or you're going through your awakening and things are going how they need to go for you with the will of fortune. You're going towards your north node. Yeah. This person is stuck in their past. They're, they're stuck in their south node energy. That's just what I'm getting from this reading. Okay. Child, what's the judgment? Yeah. <laughs> Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer. What's the judgment with the Queen of Cups in reverse? In the Four of Cups, Cancer Moon. So a lot of cancer. So. I feel like you've decided that to forgive this person because you don't trust them. With this Queen of Cups in reverse, you don't trust them. I feel like you were, you were overextending yourself to this person too. You were giving too much based on some sort of emotional wounding that you had. And you're realizing that, so you're awakening to it. And you're changing it so that way you can move forward. That's what I feel. I feel like this person here ignored. There was some sort of rejection wound here that you had. And I feel like you set yourself free from it. And you're moving forward because you're awakening. You've done the inner work. Or you're doing it, right? I can look at this another way too where... um. 
it's time for them to awaken to whoever this is that's in their life. This could be their baby mama. Yeah, look, Queen of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups upright. So, okay, yeah. Let, let's see, who the Queen of Cups in reverse? Something about you too, Virgo. You can't hide from something you're not. You're not hiding from something. There's somebody else in your energy that is. I feel like you're getting a new opportunity with a new masculine or something like that. And you're being awakened too. You're having to look at yourself because your trust issues and you overextending yourself it's not going to work in this new situation or whatever this is. So you could be being triggered. This could be a little bit of like emotional immaturity. But what's the, what's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Somebody could have chosen could have chosen to reject a Queen of Cups in reverse. This karmic energy. What's what's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Swords. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? And the strength card, Leo. Somebody could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Yeah, it's an inner child here. Something is making you look at it, your 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 inner child. For some of you, this is a new person that's in your life that's making you look at this within yourself. Okay. Hmm. But I don't feel like that not in a good headspace or depressed is you. I feel like that's somebody else that you're leaving behind that mirrors some sort of um wound that needed to be worked on. So they could be like just a catalyst for your growth or something like that. Okay, because there's something for some of you within you that you've been running away from. Okay, that you're working on actively, but then there's something that somebody else ain't working on it. They, they're just not working on it, so you have to move away from them. You're continuing on with your journey. You have to continue to do the work. I feel like in this Queen of Cups, though, this is who they run away from. The Seven of Swords or whatever. That Seven of Swords is an, is an escapist. Somebody here is a liar. They, they, whoever this is, they run away from this person. And they go to you, like I said. And I feel like now they're they're kind of like being awakened to see what it is that they do. Okay, they're having to be they're 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 getting judged. They're they're getting sat down, okay, to see how they're gonna deal with this queen of cups in reverse. Cause I feel like that's somebody's raggedy ass baby mama or baby daddy or whatever. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah, ace of wands. I feel like you're walking away. Eight of cups, ace of wands. Some of y'all could definitely be traveling or you need just some time to yourself, solitude or whatever this is. But you're going towards your desires, your passions. Somebody is going through judgment because they didn't handle a situation right. They keep trying to run away and come to you and feel like they can take all of your energy and then go back to this bitch when they want to. No. They're going to have to sit down and sit with this shit right here. Whatever this is. But I'm also getting to Virgo where this could be you. You're escaping something within yourself. You're being awakened to it so that way you can go into your true north. Okay, it could be pride, ego. Um, it could be you struggling with some sort of emotional wounding that makes you very um guarded. Okay, or defensive. So that could be something that needs to be worked on. And somebody could be coming in that's going to show you like they, they're emotionally mature. I feel like you are too, but... There's some little things that need to be tweaked. Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. Your neglect wounds, your abandonment issues. Yeah, the death, that's eight and five, that's uh, 13, ain't it? Yeah. The death card. So you're definitely going through a, a rebirth, a transformation. Definitely could be about your money too, how you view money. Okay. Your values, your morals, things like that could be going through some sort of change. I feel like where you usually run from situations that scare you, you're going to stick this one out. That's what you're trying to do. And that's good because you're doing the work. You're looking at yourself. Page of Cups, the hangman. Yeah, the, the nine of swords, the fool. Yeah, you're freeing yourself. Yeah, four swords flipped in reverse, awakening. Yeah, that's what's happening. So that's good. That's really good.
some of you guys do have bad anxiety so that you could probably need to go to the doctor for that or you've been played with a lot your headspace has been played with a lot so you could need to see somebody about that virgo or you could i mean go to a holistic medicine doctor i prefer those over you know but y'all know the vibes so what's the what's the will of fortune two of cups yeah soulmate i'm telling you ten of pentacles the fool there's a soulmate here that's it's bringing in this is your good karma so whatever it is you need to release you just need to go ahead and release it okay i feel like it's more so you being in your head or your trust issues <laughs> you needing to forgive here you're being tested okay Someone gonna have a cancer venus what's the history past happened <laughs> yeah knight of wands where somebody was in and out what's his <laughs> what's history could be a sagittarius somebody with that in their chart what's history yeah ace of swords so you're getting some sort of clarity around whatever this is about the past or Past things could be coming up. This Whoever this is that was a player or in and out of your life, you're getting clarity about them. There's some sort of aha moment with the Ace of Swords. What's this Knight of Wands? There's going to be a breakthrough here. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Ten of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? Ten of Wands. Yeah, Five of Wands. A bunch of fucking drama. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, Sag, um, <clears throat> Sag, Saturn, and we got Leo, Saturn. <laughs> mm. So Spirit, I feel like Spirit, yeah, the justice with the word, I feel like Spirit wants to let you know that this was the past. You're protected from here on out. I mean, yeah, you got free will, but I feel like you're very smart. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, right behind that is the Three of Swords. I feel like there's something you just need to go within. Maybe go watch Libra's reading too. Okay. There's something that you need to go within to process fully. I feel like maybe you haven't processed it all the way. There, this could be some sort of fight or bickering or somebody here being petty or they put you in competition with someone while they were in and out of your life doing whatever the fuck it is that they wanted to do. They left you with nothing. So that, that could be what this is. Like you're needing to, yeah, the hermit. Some of y'all need therapy for this or whatever this is. This could have given you PTSD, like really bad anxiety or um, the gaslighting and the narcissistic abuse or whatever this is. You might have to go somewhere to see about that. Okay, what's the Ace of Swords? Yeah, Nine of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, the Magician, and the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Mm. I don't like that. There could be people working in cahoots to do like magic, or somebody is working with someone that keeps hexing and cursing you. I don't know, but. Watch how you're thinking because you could definitely manifest some bullshit. If you don't work on whatever's going on with your mental, if your mind is clouded, then you manifest your reality. For some of you, though, this is this whoever this is that's in your energy that I feel is not really showing up in your reading. They are stuck somewhere. They're stuck with a third party that keep doing magic on their ass. And like I said, it's affecting you. But I feel like it's a catalyst too for your growth. Yeah, it, whatever this is, it's like a, it's spiritually, it's put here for you to learn from it and grow from it. It's, it's a wounding too. Like I feel like when magic started being talked about and all that, especially if you're an earth angel or you're a divine being, you're a spiritual guru, a shaman, a light worker, or whatever, you have some sort of special calling over your life, you're a twin flame or whatever the case may be. Those, I feel like those relationships have some sort of like um, 
really bad, like generational curse. Okay, you could have been sacrificed in a past life and all kind of shit. So I feel like whatever it is that you're going through right now is for you to clear out generational wounding. So you can move into healthier partnerships or just live a healthier life in general. But that Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups here, we got Pisces twice, so strong Pisces. I feel like you're seeing the truth of a situation. There's a breakthrough here because I feel like you're happy. Okay, you're leaving the past in the past or that's what you need to do because some of y'all are definitely dating. Yeah, Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups. That's Ten of Cups right there and that's exactly where you're headed. But I feel like you could be cautious here. You're trying to make sure that you're not going to get hurt. I feel like you're not. You're not. Just try to do things where you're focused on yourself. You know, really pour into you. Don't, don't overextend. I feel like that's the test. Okay, don't overextend yourself. Yeah, 23, community, all is fair. Number 11, Libra. So definitely go watch Libra. Follow the spark, number 30. Undress, number 12. Yeah, be vulnerable, indulge, number 50. And yeah, momentum. Bottom of the deck is rest. Yeah, make sure you're taking time out to your, for yourself. Yeah, to fill your cup. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, to fill your cup. She, you can see her ass crack right there. But yeah, fill your cup and rest. Make sure you're 3131 on the timer. Yeah, look. The great crumble, that's the tower, number 16. Then we have soulmate. And then we have deep knowing. There's a deep knowing here that this is your soulmate. For some of you, there's a good tower moment coming in. This could be a soulmate energy. That's coming for you because that's your life partner. That's the one you're going to be with, Ten of Cups. That's a faded soulmate connection. That's marriage and everything. Yeah, individuality and shadow work. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Release ritual. Yeah, some of y'all are releasing. It's You're needing to release something. Okay, from your past. Let's see. It says all is fair. The element is air. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It says restorative justice, contracts, legal matters. Balance is necessary. Be gracious and make honest and fair assessments about yourself in situations that seem ever so slightly off. If you don't, the balance will be restored naturally and you may not always like the outcome. If you are worried about a fair outcome, this is a sign that all will work out in your favor. Yeah, the all is fair with the indulge under it. So spirit is telling you, you can have fun, indulge, be happy, do whatever is going to make you happy. You can let your guards down because you have somebody around you that's going to celebrate with you and not take from you. They're going to add on to you, celebrate with you. They're going to be a good friend. This could be, be you meeting new people, making new friends. I feel like you're just making space for the new. And it says, follow the spark. So follow, follow what's, what's making you happy. If you feel that passion, that desire, you've now, I feel like you've grown enough to the point where you know how to make wiser decisions. Use your wisdom. Use your wisdom to um, move forward here in your journey, Virgo. You know, don't start overthinking because that could cloud your like intuition. You know, I feel like you're meeting better people now. You're meeting people that, you know what I'm saying, accept you for who you are. And that's going to help you grow for sure. So we have number 36, Midhaven, Pinnacle. Number 34, North Node. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Number 51, Conjunction, Alliance. Number five, Leo, Shine. A lot of Leo, well, we are in Leo season. Yeah, Venus, look, under your North Node, bro, I'm telling you, it's a love coming in here. This is a, this is your destined person. Whoever this is that's coming in, or you're getting prepared to meet this person, you're going to go through some challenges in love as far as like you having to do whatever the shadow work is so you can have this relationship. Then we have number 52, trying sextile symbiosis. So something is working together with the conjunction, alliance, 12th house, introspection, 11th house, community. Let's see. Taurus Libra here. Let's see. So 
So it says, Tron and Sextile planets promote collaboration by backing one another up, cheering one another on, and adding strength and value to their roles. A trine is, a trine is formed by two planets one-third of the way around the circle from each other, 120, de 120 degrees apart. A sextile is half that, 60 degrees apart. Trine planets operate from the same element, fire, earth, air, or water, and speak their language. Sextile planets relate from the same polarity, but in different modalities, cardinal, fixed, or mutable. They operate like supportive, non-competitive non best buddies. Okay, it says for your action, lean into what is easy and comfortable and use that comfort to renew, grow, and expand. Look for people who have compatible and complement complementary ideas or skills to yours. Work with your allies. Gently expand your world through compatible people, collaborative skills, and through doing what you love. Look for a person who holds a missing piece of the project and bring them in. Find those who work, find those whose work you approve of and invest in them. Mm. Engage family members and friends who really understand you. Explore what you have in common with a beloved and focus on, we have Venus beloved here, right under North Node. And focus on that rather than on your differences and build out from there. Wander in a favorite landscape and learn from what you find there. Play your favorite music, but on a new instrument. Bring your attention to where the energy flows easily, where support can be found, where enthusiasm exists. Grow organically. When life is hard, a dinner with friends where you can laugh, relax, and let your let down your guard can be great medicine. What a bomb to talk over problems with someone who understands your worldview and to whom you don't need to explain yourself. Moments of ease can prepare us for the bigger challenges ahead. Yeah, so it says for your challenge, the path of least resistance can be both delightful and limiting. Don't get stuck in a comfortable rut. For your gift, it says lift one another up and grow. The comfort of compatible aspects can help us build up the resources needed to do the hard work and face the tough stuff. Yeah, so yeah, do do what's working, Virgo. Don't focus on the negative or where, where you see differences. Because I feel like just because you and somebody have differences don't mean that y'all are not compatible or y'all can't work together. I feel like that's where your issue is. Like you... You're like, okay, well, that's something that I don't like. Some of y'all need to expand or open your mind to, to people that are different from you because you never know. Like, y'all can actually work together. I feel like you can, especially with the Midhaven here, Leo. You and this person are going to build something career-wise, money-wise, whatever. So do what, what, what works for both of y'all. Like, don't focus on so much of the differences. I mean, whatever works for you, I feel like it's going to... um. It's going to be easy to like blend those things together so that way when when y'all like i said when y'all do face challenges you'll be able to kind of like know what to do just really let things flow and get to know this person or whatever this is that's coming in mm -hmm. <clears throat> so i don't know but this was your reading i hope that it resonated for you like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and I will talk to you all later. Bye.